Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv and I'm going to be discussing some iPhone stuff for all you people who love the iPhone. Uh, you may have noticed or you may remember back in the past when Steve Jobs first unveiled this guy. First, let me unlock my iPhone here. That there was this popular weather widget and I'm going to tap on that now so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is the, you know, the glorious weather widget where you can have multiple locations and you can configure it. And I'm going to hit the info button here at the bottom. And you can configure it to point to whatever city you want and pick Fahrenheit or Celsius. But, you know, that's pretty decent for for a good a good quick way to look at the weather but you may find yourself wanting to see more information about the weather other than just the current temperature and the highs and lows and the extended forecast that may work for you know majority of the people but not everybody what I'm gonna talk about in this video is some alternate web locations for the iPhone where you can view different weather things and the first one I want to talk about is the weather bug and this is at iphone.weatherbug.com this is a very attractive site i've been using this for a while and uh you know i pretty much bookmarked it as soon as i found it and it gives you a nice little temperature gauge on the left side and you can see <laughs> it actually looks like a real thermometer and it gives you the temperature number and it gives you the wind and the direction and the miles per hour and down here at the bottom you can see your forecast you can see your radar, the current radar, and uh, you can see a camera for the particular weather station, and you can see an optional video. And this is Rachel's webcast, and if I tap that, it'll start the uh, the movie for Rachel's webcast in just a moment. It's just the suspense that gets me. Meteorologist Rachel Peterson. Today Hi, Rachel. Is Tuesday, January 8th. As we take a look at the temperatures across the country, it's going to be a fairly decent day. At oh, that's, that's just wonderful, south. Rachel. 44 in Seattle, 53 okay. in San Francisco. So, what I'm going to do now, 90, in after Angel. my phone shuts up, Rachel, is, is go back to my bookmarks. That's Weatherbug. This is a good one. This is easy to configure. You just put in your location. Looks similar to the other one. You got your F and your C and your locations that you can add. But I found one yesterday that uh, that that really caught my attention, and it's called Weather Underground. And this is a site that I have been using on my computer for a long time, and up till recently, they they um, they had a mobile site, but it wasn't built for the iPhone in particular. And I went there yesterday to look at the, the forecast, and I noticed an iPhone link, and you can get there by going to i w u n d dot com and put in your zip code and the thing I like about weather on the ground is that they give you a lot of information not just the basics you get everything so here we see the current temperature in both Fahrenheit and Celsius scattered clouds humidity dew points the wind the pressure the visibility clouds sunrise sunset moonrise moonset waning crescent which is the moon gives me uh, some information about the I believe that's the uh, the weather station um, and it tells you where it lo it where it actually found this particular uh, this particular location I can go back and forth between different locations and different weather stations and get the information now this right here is just the current now you see here at the top there are some links for radar forecast and warnings I'm going to tap radar here and it goes right to the radar and if you tap animated radar it'll actually animate it right now I don't have any clouds anywhere so there's nothing really to see except for a little bit down here by Daytona if you can see that it's little little bits down there real tiny but you can see I mean when it, when it gets to hurricane season again this is going to be very useful I can go down to the forecast and it tells you what the rest of the night is going to look like and it says tomorrow's forecast is be nearly the same as today which is what most people are concerned about Tuesday Tuesday night Wednesday when I love weather underground and the way they lay out their data and finally there's warnings and notices so if there's any kind of warnings on here it'll show me here last night there was a fog warning and it showed up here and there's a link to go right to the top of the page so this is weather underground again you can get there by going to i.w 
UND.com on your iPhone and these are just two alternatives that you can do and go to on your iPhone to uh, to check out the weather if you're not too keen on the weather widget again weather on the ground gives you a ton of information in a nice formatted way and then there's weather bug which is a nicely formatted and beautiful <laughs> beautiful to the eyes as far as I can see I mean it's for, this is definitely one built for visual people because you got your thermometer and you got your wind gauge over there. All right, this is Born from Born.TV saying, well, I hope you, you enjoyed these weather sites and uh, hopefully you can utilize these on your iPhone.